Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today I'm going to be doing a review and unboxing of the Vivo Pocket Hole Jig. Now, I've owned a lot of different pocket hole devices in the past and they've all had an issue. Um, I, whether it's, you know, not the right shape, size, whatever, they just don't quite meet up to my, um, you know, my standards. Um, with Viva or Vivo, I'm not sure how you say it, I've, all, I've bought a lot of their different devices and I've got to say, I've never had a problem with the quality of, their, of anything I've bought. Um, I've had a laser tube that they make and that has been running perfectly for such a long time it's incredible um, so I'm, I'm hopeful for this and um, I'll do a quick um, unboxing and test it and have a look at it uh, before I do that I'd just like to thank my Patreons thank you guys so much you have helped the channel out no end uh, if you'd like to join them all the links are in the description thank you to you for watching let's get on I'm in no way affiliated with this company, although I have bought a few of their devices in the past. The laser tube for my K40 is from them, and I've bought two linear actuators for my son's linear actuating desk. If you haven't seen that video, it's pretty cool. Um, but let's get inside it and let's have a look. It does look a little bit dinged at this end, doesn't it? Which is always a bit of a concern. I don't wanna accidentally cut anything, so we'll be just a bit careful. I thought I'd use this knife and be a bit more masculine with that one rather than my usual one, but you know, who knows? Okay, let's have a look inside. Is this at the bottom again, is it? Yeah, I think, I think I've opened it upside down. I'm gonna plop it down that way. All right, straight away, it looks well made. And that is one of the things I've always found with these guys, everything they produce seems to be well made. Oh, it's lovely and heavy. Proper chunky thing there. It's like, look at that. that look at the size of this. That is so different from, I, honestly, in the pictures, it looked like half the size of this. So that will go in there like that. And then we've got a few bits and bobs. We've got the, um, whatever they're called. I can't remember what they're called offhand. And then we've got some of these um, wooden, basically, they... Uh, wooden plugs to cover up where you've made the pocket holes um, but I have seen that you can actually 3d print these now well you could have at all times but um, I thought 3d printing them in high quality would actually be really cool because you could actually use it as a a way of actually showing up your um, your work you know like the Japanese do with broken items they fill it with gold you could do 3d printed bits put them in and sort of extent accentuate your you know your designs and so on um collars i think they're called aren't they i'm going to have a look quickly at the um the instructions and then i will start putting it together oh they've got two different models um the xr so 30 and the xr so 40 i've got the 30 i believe yeah i've got the 30 um, I don't know what's different about the 40. Oh, it comes with a plastic toolbox, it says. Oh no, it comes, it comes with a, a variety of other things as well. But I'm not bothered. Got everything I need here. Got two screwed, uh, two drills. Two drill bits rather than one. Are they both the same size there as well, yeah. It's little things like that. Two drill bits, you know, they know I'm going to snap one. Okay, let's um, set this up then. Okay, first things first, I've just looked through the entirety of this instruction leaflet. And it's all in English and it's all written properly. It's not a bad, um, a bad translation as far as I can tell. I will, as I read it properly, I will be able to confirm that completely. But I think it all genuinely looks like it's written out properly you know right first thing you've got to do is unscrew and drop everything okay you're gonna unscrew this side and drop it again okay Let's put those like that I don't know why I'm dropping things today it's about the fourth thing I've dropped so far Okay, for a second I honestly confused myself, which doesn't take much. But I was kind of trying to work out how the heck you fit this 
into this and I was like well that's got numbers it's got numbers this is the quick hole jig so you can actually you can use just this on its own and actually clamp this to the wood or you can use the actual full assembled version um, which I think is pretty cool um, I wish there was a place to put this once removed there may be I haven't looked but um, I quite like the fact that this can be you know screwed to a surface and in it goes and also it's um i'm not sure how well this is coming out today my camera seems to be playing up we've got imperial and metric along here and then the same on the sides imperial metric it's pretty well made and it's really nice and heavy you've obviously got the screw holes here to screw it down to something and a screw hole here again probably possibly to screw it down to something or it could be a place to put a um, vent thing so you can have it connected to a vacuum of some kind um, to you know a dust extractor kind of thing this goes in like so and then we screw these in with the plastic washers on the outside And that's the kit set up ready to use. Right, we better go and test this in a minute. Ooh. We actually have a crack. The ones around here and around there. And underneath. And as if by magic, there's another one here. And this took less than two days to get to me after I'd said that there was a problem with it. And they said they apologized and sent a new one out straight away. This is what I love about Vivo. They are just, I don't know how you say that, that name. Viva, Vivo, Viv something or other. But whoever they are, whatever, however you say it, I mean, there's been about five things I've bought from them and I've never had a problem that's the first problem I've had and they've instantly fixed it so let's unpack this one all right first things first does it hold wood literally completely and utterly that's perfect that is exactly what you want you want it to be basically when it comes to me using this, I will be using it mainly for this thickness of wood, almost entirely. Um, there will be times when it's not, but basically I'll be using it for pallet wood. And um, this is just perfect for whopping it in and drilling down. Let's give it a go. Now, I, I probably said, but I love the fact that there's two drill bits. And because it's the sort of thing I'm going to end up breaking. They are both the same size. And then we got two different screw heads. Oh, and they're quite, quite, quite magnetic. Wow. That is extremely strong magnetic. Magnet. <laughs> That's quite impressive. Okay, right. Um, stop messing, James. Right. Oh, I didn't put any collars or anything on it. Um, shall I do another one? Yeah. Nothing out the back. Awesome. That's a bit rough. A little bit, little bit more rough than I would have thought, to be honest. Perhaps I've set it up incorrectly, which is likely because I'm a bit of an idiot. Nothing that a chisel won't deal with. Except this is blunt as hell. Now I will be making a jig to actually hold the piece of wood down. Oh, and I choose the most unwobbly piece of wood ever. But yeah, I'm going to be making a clamping jig to hold any piece of wood down that I deem worthy of my screwage. But I won't do that just yet because obviously why would I need to? That's just standing up perfectly on its own. 
This is the coarse thread screws. And let's get one in there. Now I'm not obviously lining this up properly. I really don't mind. I'm not bothered at all. I'm going to try and hold it as close to being level and whatever as I can, but as I said, I'm not really bothered. And there you go. It's all in there, solid as a rock. It does exactly what you want. Okay, as I say, I'm going to be making a jig to be able to hold pieces of wood flat on the table and elsewhere. Um, but, you know, as a first time with it, it's it works really well. Um, I love how hard it holds on to the wood and I love the fact that you've got the uh, measurements here as well as on the sides. All of it seems so well built. It's all very nice and heavy. The fact that you've got two drill bits was a shock to me because I didn't actually expect that. Um, again, very, very good. And then you've got a small, um, small square end screwdriver and a big one as well, which is cool. And uh, the fact that it's come with all the plugs as well, I think that's really cool. Um, these can be easily made out of a piece of dowel and I may end up making a jig for it. Okay, like I said in the intro, I love Viva products and I've never had a problem with them. The quality of them is un unmatched. Um, for the, the price I paid, it is like a cheap price for a very, very good quality object you know um, and that's what I love about their things the quality of everything is always top-notch um, so yeah this will be in a lot more of my videos um, come going forth now so you know expect to see it anyway thanks again to my patrons thank you to you for watching see you again soon bye for now